5 Greatest 22nd Overall Picks in NBA History The Los Angeles Lakers have the 22nd overall pick in the 2021 NBA Draft. While most picks this late in the draft end up not having a huge impact, the Lakers are one of the best teams in the league in scouting talent late in the draft and developing that talent into a legitimate role player. There are countless late Lakers draft picks that are currently scattered throughout the league, including sixth man of the year, Jordan Clarkson. It is fair to be optimistic that the Lakers will find a legitimate rotation player but if we listen to history we can conclude that the Lakers will not land a star. The history of the 22nd overall pick is not great. We decided to rank the 5 best 22nd picks in NBA history. 5. Kenneth Fareed, 2011, Denver Nuggets Fareed was a solid rotation player throughout his career and logged decent minutes during his tenure with the Nuggets. Fareed played in Denver through the 2017-18 season and in those seven seasons, he averaged 11.4 points and 8.2 rebounds in 24.9 minutes per game. He was not a star in any right but he did give the Nuggets valuable minutes at the four. Fareed was a guy who would consistently go out and get you 12 to 15 points and 8 to 10 rebounds a night and his consistency was one of his better traits. He was a below average defender and he could not space the floor as a 4 so he quickly got phased out of the NBA, playing his last NBA game before he was 30 years old. 4. Jared Dudley, 2008, Charlotte Hornets, Bobcats. The Los Angeles Lakers currently have the fourth greatest number 22 pick in NBA history on their roster and that might be saying something about the quality of the selection. Dudley is in the latter stages of his career at this point and is no longer someone who can produce much in an NBA rotation. I am sure he could go to a lottery team and pick up 15 minutes per game if he really wanted to. Instead, he has been with the Lakers for two years and has been the definition of a glue guy. Dudley really seems to be sticking around because Lebron James likes him. You cannot hate the hustle. Dudley played in Phoenix from 2008 until 2013, averaging 8.7 points and 3.4 rebounds in 23.7 minutes per game. Dudley's best season was the 2011-12 season, where he averaged 12.7 points per game. 3. Mason Plumlee, 2014, Brooklyn Nets Mason Plumlee trails Jared Dudley in career win shares but it is close. Plumlee currently has 39.5 win shares in his career while Dudley has 43. Dudley, however, has been in the league six more years than Plumlee and has produced at the same rate. Plumlee's win shares per 48 minutes is 41% higher than Dudley's. Plumlee has been a solid big man throughout his career. This role is no longer appreciated in the NBA but he has made a career out of being a solid rim protector and scoring option at the basket. He is not going to get you big numbers but he is someone who can fit into his role perfectly. It is ironically the exact thing the Los Angeles Lakers need this offseason. Plumlee has averaged 8.5 points and 6.5 rebounds per game throughout his career and averaged 10.4 points and 9.3 rebounds last season. 2. Norm Nixon, 1977, Los Angeles Lakers Nixon was drafted by the Lakers in 1977 and made his mark in Lakers history. He definitely is not one of the first names you remember when you take a trip down memory lane but he did have a positive impact on the team. Nixon won two championships with the Lakers and was an all-star twice in his career, once with the Lakers and once with the Los Angeles Clippers. His advanced numbers do not hold up to modern-day standards as he was not the most efficient scorer but the overall efficiency in the league back then was far lower than it is now. Overall, Nixon averaged 16.4 points and 7.9 assists per game in his six seasons with the Lakers. 1. Truck Robinson, 1974, Washington Wizards, Bullets. Truck Robinson has the most career win shares of any player to be drafted with the 22nd overall pick and he had the highest ceiling as well. While he is not a name that most modern day basketball fans may know, he did put together a good career in the 1970s and early 80s. He finished his career with the 8th most career win shares of a draft class that was headlined by Bill Walton, Jamal Wilkes and George Gerben. 
Robinson finished his career averaging 15.5 points and 9.4 rebounds per game but the highs were really high. He led the league in rebounds in 1977-78 with a career-high 15.7 per game. He averaged 22.7 points per game to not only be an all-star but to be named to the all-NBA first team. He is the only player on this list to be named to any all-NBA team, let alone the first team. He is one of just 10 players to average 22 points and 15 rebounds in a single season. The other 9 are all Hall of Famers. Thanks for watching. Please like, follow and subscribe for more videos.